downtown Cincinnati. All the action coming up here on Fox Sports Ohio. And hi again, everyone. Alongside Chris Welsh, I'm Jim Day. Thanks so much for joining us for Reds baseball. Four-game winning streak. Chris, it's been exciting. It's come at the right time. Well, it has come at the right time. Anytime you'll take a four-game winning streak, right? But just when you start thinking your ball club's good and you're clicking on all cylinders, you know, baseball has a way to get you off track. So the Reds can enjoy this four-game winning streak and know that they're six of uh, six and two in their last eight, and the winning percentage is third best in the National League in September. All those things are what you've done, but I think that David Bell's got his guys thinking about what they've got to do today, tomorrow, and the next day, starting with tonight and Luis Castillo. Always confident when Castillo goes to the hill, particularly when he's coming off of his first complete game of his major league career. You know, the only thing more difficult to do than pitching a complete game in the major leagues is to pitch two in a row, and that's really what he's facing tonight. He was marvelous his last time out. What he did last time I thought was very interesting, though. He went heavy on the two-seam fast. Ball. He threw more of those pitches, 40 of them last time out, than he has in any one game all year long. The second pitch, of course, is that changeup still. He gets two, two strikes. You're going to see that pitch. But, you know, when you get Castillo on a little bit of a roll, he starts throwing his fastball and locating it on the inner side uh, in the left-handers on the first base side of home plate. Very important for him to do that because it really helps the changeup and put more smiles on his face. Coaches were very high in the praise of the battery man, Kirk Casale, last time out. And look, these guys work well together. Well, it's always very important to have a catcher that's on the same page you know that you don't have to keep shaking them off to get to what you want and you don't battle with each other between innings about following the game plan a catcher should know what pitcher has that night and casale has been very good with Castillo so why break that up Pirates will go with JT Brubaker tonight. What can you tell us about well, him? He likes his slider, I can tell you that much. He's, he tops out about 93, 94 miles an hour. He's a guy that's the Pirates lineup tonight brought to you by Jeff Weiler Automotive. Adam Frazier back in the starting lineup, and he's leading off. Keep Ryan Hayes batting second. Moran Bell Gonzalez. Kevin Newman at second base. Polanco, Cole Tucker, John Ryan Murphy batting ninth and catching. They will face Luis Castillo, who's into his windup. And we are underway from Great American. 78 degree game time temperature. Again, low humidity here in Cincinnati. It's been glorious. Count as a ball and a strike on Adam Frazier. Tail of to end inning number one for the Pirates. That's coming to bat with this lineup brought to you by Jeff Weiler Automotive. Show go back in the leadoff spot. Castellanos. Vado Winker, Moustakas, 3, 4, and 5. Nick Senzel back in the starting lineup. His second game on the field since returning from the I.L. Galvis at second base. Garcia at short. Kurt Casale catching a batting ninth. For the Pirates, right-hander J.T. Brubaker. Now he's a local kid, really. Went to, grew up in Springfield, Ohio. Went to University of Akron. That's where the Pittsburgh Pirates selected him in the sixth round, 2015. Had a little bit of an injury problem last year. Missed a lot of the 2019 season with some elbow issues, but he's not done badly. I mean, he's got more strikeouts and in innings pitched. He does walk about four batters every nine innings, so that's something to keep your eye on right there. And the Reds, of course, have picked up more bases on balls than any team in baseball so far. In fact, the next one they